Welcome to the Bunsen burner safety video. In this video, we will make sure that you learn how to use one of the more dangerous pieces of equipment in the lab properly and safely. Before you enter the lab, you first have to make sure that you have all of your PPE, your personal protective equipment. This includes a 100% cotton lab coat, lab glasses or goggles, long pants, and closed toe shoes. Once you have everything on, you are ready to enter the laboratory. First, make sure you gather all the necessary materials in order to start your Bunsen burner and heat a beaker of water. This includes the Bunsen burner, a Bunsen burner striker, gas tubing, a gas source, a 250mm beaker, two ring clamps, and a wire mesh screen. Before doing anything else, make sure that you inspect all of your equipment, especially any glassware for cracks or chips. When glass is heated, it expands, which will place stress on any cracks, possibly breaking the beaker completely. Once you have ensured the safety of all equipment, connect the gas tubing to the Bunsen burner and then to the gas source. After making sure that the connections are tight and secure, place the Bunsen burner directly below the mounting stand. Measure about three fingers above the tip of the Bunsen burner and firmly attach the first ring clamp at that height. Next, place the wire mesh screen atop of the ring clamp and then the 250ml beaker, filled with whatever liquid you wish to heat, in this case water, on the mesh screen. The last thing we do before igniting the Bunsen burner is we place the second ring clamp around the beaker so that it prevents the beaker from falling off of the wire mesh screen. Finally, turn the valve on your gas source to the open position so that gas can start flowing through the Bunsen burner. A good way to tell if gas is flowing is that there should be an audible hissing sound coming out of the Bunsen burner. Last, simply use the Bunsen burner striker in order to create sparks which will ignite the flowing gas. After the flame is lit, you can adjust the opening on the Bunsen burner in order to adjust the height of the flame. Or you can simply decrease the amount of gas flowing by turning the gas valve slightly towards the closed position. Some cautions include making sure that loose articles of clothing aren't held around the open flame. For girls, make sure that your hair is tied in such a way that the open flame won't be able to burn it. Typically, a ponytail or a bun should accomplish this. Last, keep paper and other flammable materials, including other chemicals, away from the Bunsen burner. And that's it, and thank you for watching.